Welcome back to part two. I did promise a very unusual incident and uh, we go uh, quite deep uh, into football on this show as you would have done uh, to clock an incident which happened at Bradford Park Avenue in a game against Salford City over the weekend. Such an unusual incident that it didn't appear to be covered under the laws of football. <laughs> well, and Keith Hackett, this is, okay, so this is a player urinating during a game who gets sent off. So we'll discuss that with, with these two when we looked at the Football League, including uh, a League One game. Um, Blackburn Rovers against Wigan. Okay, so Tony Harrington's in charge of this. Now, you clocked... Uh, no, that was Darren England's. Darren, Darren England, England yeah, sorry. Yeah. Tony Harrington's in charge of QPR Wolves. We'll it's come it, to yeah, that as yeah, well. Yeah. Let's have a look at Blackburn Wigan, first of all. Darren England. And a sending off in that game. Now, we talk about unusual methodology uh, in a game. Let's have a look at that. I mean, I mean me and Keith discuss it. Mm. You know, quite quite often it is so, it's so important that you you don't you don't lose your focus or your concentration because if you do, then you make silly errors like that um, Darren England made on, on on Saturday by, and obviously it was it was the player's second yellow card. But what yeah. he's done is he's brought he's gone red card then yellow card so instead of yellow card yeah. red card. But it just it just looks it looks messy, doesn't it, from a referee perspective, doesn't it, Keith? Everybody yeah, laughs I, about that. We could all take a joke. I mean, I got the wrong referee again. Yeah, instead, well, I, I, I think the principle here is that, you know, we're talking to an audience of referees who are, who are learning the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think most referees would have their yellow card in the right-hand right pocket, pocket yeah. and a red button down or Velcro down oh. in, the, in the breast pocket for that for that yeah. very reason, yeah. Yeah. you know, there you were times when uh, there were times when Uriah Rennie, if you remember, had a spell of dropping his. Right. He had he had two in two pockets. You used to get them out and Ooh. drop them on the floor. More <laughs> like Pete Walton, never take your cars out at all. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, that's you. <laughs> that's you. But it's, it's right. I mean, as a referee, you've got to know. I mean, I always kept my yellow yeah. pocket, my yellow card in my right pocket, yeah. and my red card in my back pocket. So, so if I was doing a, a, a second yellow and red, it, the yellow card would be out already, and then yeah. I'd go to my back pocket yeah. and bring my red card yeah. out. But okay. He's he, making good strides down in England. I mean, yeah. uh, you hear yeah. good reports, uh, you but, know, but, certainly. But he is prone to making these silly little errors. We had one with the penalty kick last year where he got the penalties wrong, didn't he? You know, yeah. There was yeah. a game at Carlisle. And yeah. Yeah. So well, let's have a look at the game that, that you particularly were interested in as a QPR supporter, and a note victory over championship pacemakers, hitherto pacemakers, Wolverhampton Wanderers at Loftus Road. Yep. So uh, obviously a deserved, deserved victory, but there was a decision in that that could have altered the course of the game. This was Tony, Tony Harrington. Harrington. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well done to Ian Holloway and Mark Burgeon. Yeah. They're doing a terrific job with, with, with what they got, the squad. Um, I mean, I, 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 I watch it on goals, you know, the goals on, on TV and Wolves can count themselves very unlucky because they had an absolutely nailed on penalty turned down. There's a speaks of QPR. Uh, yeah, I mean, it listen, watching been. it, I mean, it was abs it was it was a nailed on penalty, and I just, I, you know, I look you, you look at the reasons why the referee has got this incident wrong, mm. and for me, I mean, I think Alan Wiley's got a lot of work to do over you know, over this mm. weekend on some mm. of his referees on some of the big decisions they, they've got wrong, and it's all about position. If you look at Tony Harrington's position, where the incident took place, is it took place in the in just inside the the penalty area, central of the penalty area, and Tony Harrington's run like from right to left, gone right out wide. He's come right out, and that's why he's missed it. All, yeah. he's, all he needs to do is stay central, and he picks it up and gives Wolves a penalty. Has he just not read penalty. the game? Just not read the well, game he's, 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 Well, he's just in the wrong position. He's got himself all tangled up with his viewing angles. He's not got the ultimate viewing angle mm. because of his positioning. Right, and and, and it's so important to you know to. I, I mean, I see this yeah. quite often where yeah. referees are going from right to left. They come right out wide, mm. and then and then they're coming in at an angle, following in from behind. What are they going to see? Oh, it's old-fashioned refereeing, and yeah. in reality, because he's on be, that well, we, we at times in yeah. my time we were encouraged to go wide. Yeah. It's very clear now that, and the books, the referees' chart shows that you're running from corner of one penalty yeah. area to the opposite yeah. corner. Yeah. And that's your, that's that's your, your basic diagonal. Right. diagonal. Yeah. But it comes okay. to down to actually reading the play and right. anticipating the play. And I think that's a, uh, that, that's a big miss from, from today's referee and right. you know, current referees because yeah. they're yeah. not reading yeah. and anticipating play as they should be. Okay. But if Alan Wilde is coaching him, while he was an, as an experienced, former experienced referee, yeah. has spent a lot of time in our debates yeah. and discussions about positioning and movement. Right. He needs but to get that across. And these referees, if he's coaching them, needs to understand it, there's a guy with stature that mm. he should listen to. 
Big TV game in the Championship over the weekend, Friday night, and oh. colossal victory again for Sheffield United, the Championship leaders. 2-1 at Leeds, Elland Road, big Yorkshire derby, refereed by Scott Duncan, who, with my untrained eye, I thought was having a really, really good game. Yeah. And then come that key incident with the Calvin Phillips challenge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you're, you're right, Alan. I think he, I thought he was having a terrific game. And, and, I, and I've referred back to what I spoke about earlier in, in, in the show about keeping your concentration and, and your focus. Sometimes referees think, oh, the game's going so well, they've got it in the back pocket switch and off. they switch off. And I, I, I think Scott Duncan done that on, on, on Friday. He undone all the good work that, that he'd put in over the 70 or 75 minutes. And when that challenge came in, it was, I think mean, you don't need to think about it. It's about right. recognition of careless, reckless, reckless yeah. with excessive force endangering the player's safety. And for me, that was such an easy, Easy decision to send to send Phillips off, and, I don't, and nobody would have complained in the ground yeah. whatsoever. I had a text immediately from Keith after yeah. that challenge from Phillips on George Baldock, which could have been, could have seriously oh, injured it, him. Actually, it was, it was I, I lucky thought it was he horrendous. Didn't. This was a red card, and and thankfully there wasn't over an overreaction. An overreaction. By the players. I think that's because these were the ones yeah. that could spark the riot. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, well, well done to Sheffield United for oh. not overreacting. They could have <laughs> easily <laughs> overreacted, but then. Yeah, you, you look at it and you look at um, corp referee and assistant referee cooperation. Now, the assistant referee, he's got no offside to look at. No. So he's there looking at that yeah. and it's right in front of him. Right on the touchline. Right on the touchline. So, you know, yeah. was there any communication between no. the two the two officials? Well. OK, three minutes left. Let's clear the decks for the uh, in incredible incident that we're going to talk about by just uh, referring Craig Pawson's game, Bournemouth nil, Chelsea won. You know, but I think Craig's on an upward curve at the yeah, moment. Yeah, the, the, the only thing was, I mean, I, I blocked the game, and the only thing with Craig for Pace. me is he, he just lacks that, if anything, he, I mean, he's, he's, he's young enough to improve on his, yeah. on, on his, his speed and agility. Yeah. And that five, that first five to ten yards lets him down. OK, but well, point you know, made I think, there. if I may, very quickly, I think that is down to the fact that his anticipation and reading. is a bit slow. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I think he's got to get into this habit of thinking, what are they going to do next? Yeah. And, mm. and have a good guess at where they're going to go to get in the right position. OK, Brighton won Southampton. One was a South Coast derby for the inform. Neil Swarbrick came out uh, rated highly by Stuart Martin on ref cam. Andre Mariner, Leicester 2, Everton 0. Taken to task over Everton, being refused a penalty on ref cam, oh. otherwise praised. And just you mentioned before we get onto this incident, Andy Madley, the, no bigger game than the Midlands derby, well, Birmingham, I, I, Aston Villa. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, no controversy. It was a big flashpoint which he handled very well. Uh, I'm just at a loss. Why is he not on the select group one? I know. Plus two officials. I'm, you, I'm at, I mean, I've been singing his praises oh. for three years on this show. And you guys and, say this every just, week. Uh, if so if, if I was Mike Riley now, I would just I would just elevate him to SG one now. Right. Salford City's goalkeeper, Max Crocombe, is sent off at Bradford Park Avenue for urinating in the 87th minute of the game. Apparently he went to the side of the stand to do it. Um, does the referee have any option there? To be fair, I, th I think um, Salford City would be embarrassed. I think the mm. management and the officials of Salford would be embarrassed of that. But we're just, we're just talking off air. I'm just trying to think what, what law that comes under because... What, 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 what have you sent him off for? Serious foul play? Violent conduct? Second yellow card? Well, it's certainly a public yeah. order act, isn't it? And, is that what know, it is? A public order well, act? Well, I, I, I think... As it would be in the streets, so. Well, I, 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 yeah, exactly. I think, I think it's so unusual for this to happen. Yeah, I mean, there's never been that heard you've go, never known anything like in it. In a way, oh. somebody's come to the right decision, but within the laws of the game, I think we'd be interested to, to have a view from our listeners and readers what they think. Yeah. yeah is, it, is, it, is, it mean, is it a one match ban, two well, match ban? We, we've all been band? there in discomfort, haven't we, in this situation? Well, what should the it, goalkeeper should have had a word with the ref, shouldn't he, and said, look, well, I've got to go. Obviously, we don't know the circumstances. We don't know where he went, where it was, you know. So I, I, I would imagine Salford City are highly embarrassed at, at this situation. And it's down to the football club to, to sort it out within their own disciplinary. Well, in the meantime, measures. the lawmakers have a look at the book and say, <laughs> where are they going to put this? In uh, Are they going to put this in the well, law? Well, I, 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 I do. I mean, according to the press, it has been reported to the police. 
Yeah, so that would be the first point. That What will happen is, in this, that situation, sometimes is, the FA switch off, don't take any action until the police, any police complaint but, is dealt with. But it's not, is it, it's not, out, it's not in public, it's so well, a private just football ground, isn't it? Well, it's, it is in public, though, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. it's got us bamboozled. There's always something Unusual. new that comes along. Thank you to Mark. Thank you to oh, Keith. Yes. Good to have Mark back from the yeah. top of Kilimanjaro and for you to be here watching us. I look forward to another Ref Show next week. See you later.